No snaps, no lasers, no machine guns. Hi friends, I'm TTB. Welcome back to German Engineering. I wanted to go ahead and try out a new version of the Crusader that doesn't use any of the weapons that just get used all the time. So this is going to be a Brodin Crusader that uses SRMs and an LB-10 close range combat action. Let's go. Wow. So let's do the smart thing. Let's go and engage the enemy. <laughs> Uh, I can engage a little bit, but I gotta be so freaking careful right here. Them. Oh, they have missiles, of course. That's my missile range, ten, three ten meters on the SRMs. Right uh. mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Oh, this is with me here. Oh, it's a lead up to. We can, we can try and fight at the corner, we can't go across, I think. If we go around the corner, we'll probably die. Target spotted. Gonna have a quick peek here. Target spotted. Go Gal 4, go Gal 4. Do not go Gal 5. It's a sniper set up, Helter 5. It's a shadow uh, stalker. New target target Alright, the boys with a snipe. Don't worry. We got a big, thick right arm that we're gonna just push down their throats. The hell can shoot you from where he's at. New target acquired. That's a war emu, okay. I thought it would be an ELH dude, or well, whatever. Let's try and keep low here. Target spotted. It's gonna be a nice little excursion for us. It's gonna UV above himself. Oh god, did he just give us away? He just gave us away, dude. That is just stupid. Stupid, oh. That was fucking not worth it, my friend. Will this UAV ever die? I'm shooting with a flak, but for some reason it doesn't die. Yeah, giving away our position right there was bad. Because this guy had no clue. Now he's able to run away. That was tactical display, my friend. Alright, and he's getting shot in the back now. Oh, we cleaned up at least. Target spotted. It's gonna be over unless you want to something in your face. I'm sure we join our mates. Target spotted. I don't know if anything spotted. I did there was good or not. I just went for it. Can I fit through here? Yes. Oh. Don't get me stuck here, please. Target spotted. Target spotted. God, they have so many assaults still left alive. That'll be tough. Target spotted. I need to get in there. New target, target spotted. Low bridge, donk. New target acquired. Alright, you're right to see side throw, so it looks tasty. If you see him, I get it. Target spotted. Nice behind that New thing. Target All behind that. Fuel Cover. Twenty-five percent. New target, target acquired. Okay, Satos is taken off. New target acquired. That was a big miss. Triple ear peeps, eh? New target acquired. Target destroyed. How about I don't run to my death? New target acquired. Okay. 
Now you see it. Target spotted. Target acquired. Fuel at 25%. Mm, the tour is still up. It's free. It's this guy right here. He's halved, and these two guys right here. Fuel at 25%. A good setup going on right now. He's toast. Target yeah. destroyed. What in the huh? Dude, why are you guys not arring? I'm marking your targets, sir. Huh? That shot in the back of lasers, right? So over here somewhere? There he is. That's a cicada, of course. It's the cicada. Target spotted. Mark your targets, kids. Not marking your targets yeah. is no bueno. Pew, pew, yes, pew. yes, 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 yes. Run to me, run to me. Surprise! Missed. Missed again. Finally! Jesus, I almost got killed by my teammate. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Got confused in the end a little bit. Rip. Gobex138, thank you for the nine months. Two solo kills, three candidates, 650 done, 490 taken, six components. It's not gonna be an insanely high damage mech, I feel. It's okay, I guess. But it's not gonna be like crazy insane or anything. GG. Now the FPS issue is a memory leak. I am alive, but something shot me. Target acquired. Target spotted. New target acquired. Now I can turn around and engage. New target acquired. Target spotted. New target That's acquired. Three guys there. UAV activated. New target acquired. Oh, that might be a 3v1 now. Override engaged. Or not. New target acquired. New target acquired. This guy's going. Acquired. Oh, we'll check his up. New target acquired. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Fresh. Are oh, you little shitter? Do you die? Left torso critical damage. Left torso critical damage. SRM destroyed. Right torso critical damage. Rip. <laughs> right, sexually Impressive safe. Armor I tried. GG guys. Impressive armor splashing. <laughs> I gotta learn something somewhere at some point in time, right?
Four kills, one solo kill on KVD, 440 damage done. Like I said, this mech is very limited in the amount of damage it can do over time, but it wasn't too horrible. A 7 of 5 taken. 7 of 5 taken on an XL Crusader is impressive, though. And uh, 11 coupons destroyed. GG. <laughs> also, props to the guy who saved me from the commando. Thanks for the save. Well, those were a couple of interesting matches. Here is the build on screen, guys. We're using an XL Engine 300. Two double heatsinks in the engine, one double heatsink in the right torso, LB10 in the right arm, SM4 in each arm, SM4 in each side torso. We've got a total of one, two, three, four, five tons of ammo for our SM4s, and we've got four tons of ammo for the LB10, plus case in every relevant part of our mech so that if the arm or leg gets blown off, we don't suffer a critical failure. Other than that, two jump jets, one in each side torso to make the build complete. Double heatsinks, endosteel structure, 44.4 firepower, but quite a nice DPS, thanks to the SRM4 launches, of course. And a speed of 80 kph plus 21 meters of jumping distance. As far as the cloaks are concerned, these are quite interesting. We get 40% ballistic cooldown, 10% flat heat, 20% velocity, and 15% less spread. So, overall, I would say a solid build, but not an insane build. Um, if this was a clan mech, yeah, you would have SRM-6 instead of SRM-4s, maybe even with Artemis, to be fair, right here. And uh, you would have a bigger XL engine, so you would be going a little bit faster. Unfortunately, it's not a clan mech, so this is what the Inner Sphere tech can give us at this point. An alternative build of this one would be to take an LB-5 and use the extra tonnage that you gain from that. LB-5 is going to be 8 tons, LB-10 is 11 tons, so if you use an LB-5 and maybe uh, drop a heatsink, you could actually get SRM-6 launchers in here, no problem, and that would increase your firepower a little bit. I will leave it up to you guys to try out this build and to play around with the stats a little bit. Um, by the way, yeah, of course you can use your LB-10 with the 40% less cooldown to shoot on the DOVs, of course. That's not a problem. And other than that, you just want to make sure that you play together with some friends, play together in a group, um, stick around with other teammates is what I want to say, so you don't get overrun on your own. But you are very, very much able to amplify damage and, of course, use the crit-seeking power of the LB-10 to go for open components, for example, legs or side torsos. Try the build, guys. Let me know how it goes for you. Well, there you have it. A little build that is kind of off the beaten path, but I wanted to try it out to see if it can be good. And it actually performed fairly well, I would say. Plus, it's important to not always just play the cookie cutter stuff because that would be boring. What's not boring, of course, is me saying thank you to all my beautiful supporters. Guys, I really couldn't do this without you. And if you're not a supporter yet but would like to become one, please check out the links in the video description that will lead you to my merch store, to my Patreon, or of course, you can become a channel member or send a super thanks right here on YouTube. Thank you very much for your support.